Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, and I have a friend getting married in Yosemite today. It's five o'clock in the morning, but I've never been to Yosemite, and I think this is a great time for me to check out the Moment lenses and the cases for the Pixel 2 XL. So this will be my review of those and my first vlog. Dude, we're here. It took me about five hours, not too bad. So I got here about an hour early. I'm gonna look around and get some shots on the moment lenses before the wedding and see how much we can get in. So there are three different lenses I have with me. So the first shot here, I have just a normal stock camera without the moment lens. Then I have a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens, and then a telephoto lens. The wide angle lens seems to be the most versatile lens out of all of them. Fisheye has a very stylistic look to it, and then a telephoto looks maybe a bit better for portrait shots. The telephoto lens does have its uses though. Sometimes when you're out and about and you don't want to get a portrait shot, but you want to get closer to something like the details of a tree, maybe there's a squirrel up there, you can use that and it'll zoom in a little bit more for you. So one thing that you may have noticed is that the wide angle lens tends to be the sharpest across the board from the edges into the center. The fisheye lens is inherently distorted. That's kind of the look to it. So it's very stylized and it fits specific applications, but not most. It might be good for like vlogging because it covers a lot of areas, but it's a little distorted. So anything along the sides, you'll get like warped face and things like that. And then with the telephoto, it seems like it's the sharpest in the center of the lens. Okay, let's see how this looks like on video. The case is really nice. There are two different varieties. There's a canvas one, and then there's a wooden one. The canvas one's really neat. It has a bit of imperfections on it though, because it's, well, canvas. And then the wooden one will have a more refined look to it. The one thing to keep in mind though is the wood is actual wood. So if you get water on it, it may warp it. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I don't really want to risk it. It's made out of very, very strong and sturdy TPU material, so it's very different than a lot of the other protectors out there that are kind of flimsy. So this is really sturdy. The downside though is that the bottom isn't really covered for some reason. There are little hooks on there so you can have a strap if you want to. And then my biggest gripe about it is the buttons. They're kind of flush with the actual protector and, well, it's really hard to tell what you're doing sometimes. I just wish that the cutouts and things like that were a little bit more defined. If you look at the speaking case, like, they're really deep engravings for every single design. And it makes it feel really intentional. For some reason on the Moment lens, even though I know it's a more premium material, it feels cheaper. So for video, you can really tell that you don't really want to use the telephoto lens for most situations. You just want to use the wide angle lens or the fisheye lens for most things. Okay, so the wedding is coming up in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go do that. And then we're gonna get some portrait shots with some people. I got like maybe 15 or 30 minutes left of light 
and then I'm gonna have to head home. The wedding was a lot of fun. I got a lot of different shots here and there. My portrait shots didn't really turn out too well. So um, I may have to take those again at home. I'll throw them in there and we're just gonna pretend that um, that happened earlier in the timeline. Yeah. So the moment lenses are really cool because they're really sturdy, they're high quality. They're not like the cheap ones that you would just get and clip on from Amazon. They have a dedicated case for it and there's a little line on the side of the lens that you can see here. If you line it up with the case, you can screw it on there. By far my favorite one is the wide angle lens. It is super heavy and the telephoto lens is really nice for portrait shots or zooming in. The fisheye I like for a couple different stylistic things but overall I wouldn't use it a ton. All of them come with this really nice little felt pouch and they have their cap as well. The one thing you have to be mindful of is pieces of lint and so you might need to have a brush just to wipe it out. That bottom area that fits into the case can really accumulate a lot of dust. I also have a little pouch here that fits two lenses so that's pretty cool. There's one other lens that I don't have it's called a macro lens and a macro lens is something where you can get really really close to the subject and it'll be in focus so if you want to get some of those shots where you're able to take a picture of a penny and you can see all the detail that's what you would use a macro lens. A telephoto lens is one where you zoom in really well a wide angle will zoom out just a bit more and a fisheye will zoom out a lot but the downside of that one is it'll distort a bit. Kind of has a GoPro-y look right? One thing that I noticed with the portrait mode is that when you use the fisheye lens it doesn't seem to process as well. The wide angle and the telephoto seems to work though. All that to say is these are the best lenses that are out there for your smartphone so this is not just for the Pixel 2 and 2 XL it's for the iPhone 10 if you wanted to do that or even the iPhone 8. If you'd like to get your hands on any of the Moment lenses and cases I'll have a link down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this little trip with me to Yosemite. It's a little bit different for me and uh, if you like this go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Uh, I kind of felt like I was not as organized as I usually am because I'm just trying to fit in with everything else but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to shoot this at a really great location. If you found this video helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up that really helps me out as a small YouTuber and subscribe and leave some comments down below on what your thoughts are uh, either about this video or the lenses or anything else. I'd love to chat with you down there. Thanks for watching this is Tech Today. Until next time. Now for a five hour drive home. Uh.